and today I'm gonna give you some tips on headers. I think a good header is where you get good contact and the ball goes where you want it to go. It doesn't always lead to a goal. If it goes the direction and uh, you have the contact that you want it, then you can be happy with the, the header. I think that's a, that's a good header. Preferably, when the ball comes in, you look at the goal and you hit the ball with the middle of your forehead to get the most impact and use the muscles in, in the neck. A little bit like this. And when doing a header like this, the most important thing is to look at the ball the whole time, never lose eye of the ball and to get the right contact. It's all about timing. Of course, every situation is different with a header, but preferably you want to get the header down towards the goal. Then you're sure the header will go on goal if it's possible and lean over it to get it down and hopefully it will also spin off the pitch so the keeper has no chance. So there are many variables depending on where the cross is coming from, but the most important thing is that you get a step ahead of the defender. The defender has to look at the ball and you, and the moment he looks away to the, the player that's crossing, take a step ahead and then you have the advantage already. It doesn't matter if it's in front of him or behind him, but you have to make a move and take the initiative just when the cross is coming. So when you see that your teammate is about to cross the ball, it's important to take the run not too early, but also not too late and then make a movement either in front or take the step back and open up space from the defender. I think practicing timing is uh, really individual with uh, your teammates. I think this is something that comes from uh, a lot of uh, hours on the training ground, learning how your teammate is. Does he do the shot fake or does he cross early? Sometimes you just have to hit hope that uh, the ball is gonna come where you make your run. And uh, yeah, basically on the training ground, that's where you get a feeling for, for your teammate and that's how you make uh, relations and connections. When it's a corner, uh, you're gonna be more intensively marked from an opponent because his only job is to make sure that you are not scoring. But you have to find that one moment where you can get one step ahead, rather than when it's crossing or when it hits uh, a first contact of someone and make a change of uh, pace to get past uh, your opponent. And it's a little bit of, you have to have a feeling for where the ball is coming and go for it. You will not get the ball all the time, but at least make a decisive run either to the front post or to the back post. And sometimes you have to hope that your teammates uh, will find you. As a striker, I like to go on the back post because there's so many times that there's a flick and the ball is landing in that area on the back post. You can score four to five goals there a season if you're there. So important is to look at the ball and get a firm contact on it. And it's also really, really good when the cross is coming from the left to put in the corner that the, uh, the cross is coming from because the keeper is moving in the, in the other direction. And the third step is be one step ahead of your defender. Try to see when he's uh, not looking at you for a second to take an advantage and uh, take a decision to go either front post or back post. You will not always get the ball, but at least you made a decisive run and then your teammate should find you. <laughs> 